Our CEO is a very forward-thinking um, woman and who saw the TED Talk on um, online and said, hey, I think we should, we should do this. And so um, myself and a couple of other people, we watched it. We we're like, yep, we need to apply for our licensure. Um, and Mir Vita Living ended up being the first elder care facility in the United States to bring cycling without age to the U.S. We started our journey in March of 2015. Um, we fundraised and launched our program in August of 2015 with three rickshaws um, that we had shipped over um, from Copenhagen because that's where the, the program originated. And um, we've been, you know, bringing them out. And of course, we're in Wisconsin, so winter weather is not friendly to the rickshaws, but um, we've been going strong ever since. We're up to a fleet of seven rickshaws. Um, and since we launched as the first elder care facility in the U.S., there's probably 50 to 60 other elder care facilities that are licensed to actually bring the program to their organizations across the U.S. as well. Um, and we're happy to be hosting the first uh, North American summit in um, September of this year, uh, bringing all the individuals um, from across the world to Oshkosh, Wisconsin, to, to the first place that launched it here. It's been embraced um, throughout the organization, I, like you say, of course, with the elders as well as their families and staff. Um, the community has opened arms um, for it as well. In Oshkosh, we're not the most bike-friendly community that you know some of the areas um, across the U.S. might be, um, but they have been very polite when the rickshaws, because they're a pretty you know big um, piece of equipment that's going down the street. Uh, they give us the right of way. Um, they're, they're, I saw your rickshaws. Everyone's always like, it's spot, it's kind of like, um, who's that? Well, where's Waldo? It's like, where's the rickshaws today? So um, everyone's always really excited within the community as well to see them out and about because they know that it takes elders outside and gets them back in the air, um, sun in their faces, and just enjoying life um, as we all remember as little kids riding our bikes. stories are amazing actually um, I have a vivid picture of an elder who had lived with us um, for several years and had lived with um, the de very debilitating degrees of um, cerebral palsy and so the day that we did our launch event we did lots of rides everybody um, you know we had people coming from the state of Wisconsin coming to help us kick it off and that kind of thing and so there were rides happening everywhere but um, the cool thing about the Cycling Without Age program is anyone can be there. So depend, it doesn't matter what your physical limitations are. Um, you can use the lift equipment. We got this gentleman in the rickshaw. Um, he doesn't had he didn't have the ability to like speak and do those things, but you could tell that he was the happiest person in the world. And there wasn't a dry eye in the in the crowd as they saw him get into the rickshaw and take the ride around the um, around the parking lot and and come back. I mean, it was just, it's just by far the, the coolest thing.